question in today from Steve in Norwich and he was asking why can't I grow pulsing zinnia in my aquarium? I often see it growing rampant in other people's aquariums. I want to place it in my aquarium, it fades and dies within a few days. Okay, so either the water quality in your aquarium is so poor that pulsing zinnia can't survive, and pulsing zinnia is pretty tolerant, it's the only thing really likely to kill it, other than something eating it, would be that if your salinity is wandering all over the place, it's either too high, too low, or wandering around. If your salinity is wandering around all over the place, you will typically see red cyano on the surface of the sand and rocks. And if you are seeing that, then make sure you recalibrate your refractometer, switch to do an RO top-ups daily, and keep an eye on that salinity. The more common reason these days why you can't grow pulsing zinnia is that pulsing zinnia has been in the hobby a very long time, and is adapted well to water conditions of 50 to 100 ppm of nitrate. Very few people these days have roof tanks with those kind of appalling levels of nitrates and most people run at 1 ppm or less in a modern reef aquarium with almost undetectable phosphate. At those levels, pulsing zinnia will really struggle to grow and this, in many ways this can be seen as a good sign because if the pulsing zinnia is growing, it's often a sign that water quality within the aquarium is quite poor. Once you improve water quality to below 1 ppm, then you, you'll find that you struggle to grow the pulsing zinnia. If you do want to grow pulsing zinnia, maybe you're doing a small tank where you, you're using that as the main coral, then increase nitrates and phosphates to quite a high level, which you can do with liquid buffers or by increasing feeding or just altering your filtration about. And then you'll see the pulsing zinnia explode to very large numbers very quickly. 